Welcome everyone. Today we're starting part one of our multi-video series on how to build a motorized bike. I want to give you some uh, tips and uh, share with you what I've learned over my time of building motorized bikes here. Show you some do's and don'ts, uh, some safety tips of how you can uh, build you a good bike right off the bat and uh, and, and build one that's, uh, that's going to be easy to maintain and uh and be reliable now you, you'll take a look at this rat bike that i've got here and you'll go hey that's a piece of crap well it's it's intended to be that way i've ratted it out and uh looks ugly as sin but i tell you what it's a very reliable bike i've been riding this bike for two years um it's not all that modified as far as performance goes i've got an expansion chamber on it i put a little bit smaller jet in the carburetor i've opened the uh the air filter up so I can get maximum airflow. Uh, and other than that, you know, it's, it's uh, built with uh, uh, the mind for, uh, built for reliability here. I, I used the, the 1940s Firestone frame and uh, it had the skip tooth and had uh, skip tooth uh, chain on it and uh, had, had the old wheels. I got rid of that. And uh, what uh, we're going to do here. On the video series here, here I've got a brand new Huffy Cranbrook. A lot of people like to motorize these bikes here, the Huffies. Uh, I've motorized quite a few myself. They're cheap. They've got good wheels. Uh, one thing I don't like about the Huffies so much is the frame. It's very thin metal. That's uh, why I enjoy my Firestone bike here. It's a vintage bike. It's uh, made of uh, thick, thicker metal. Um, I've got some other vintage bikes here. What we're going to do in this video series, we're going to take the wheels off of, and, and other components that we need off of the Huffy Cranbrook, and we're going to motorize this old Murray here. I say old, it's uh, probably a late 70s, maybe an early 80s bike. Um, the frame is smaller in diameter than the Huffy Cranbrook over there, but it's a much thicker gauge metal and it's welded. Uh, the welds are far superior to what we have on the Huffy Cranbrook. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take what we like from the old, take what we want with the new, motorize it and come up with a nice bike. Now I had even thought of using this Schwinn that I've got here, but I decided against it uh, I want to show you uh, a bike that you can do on your own without too much modification. And if you notice the Schwinn, the difference here between the Schwinn and the, the Murray is the spacing between the seat post and the down tube. There is too much space between the seat post and the down tube for the motor to mount without an additional bracket. Now they've got the uh, the motor mounts that you can get, the aluminum CNC motor mounts that you can get. Uh, you, you've got a one inch diameter tube there. I, I have not put a, uh, the Huffy down tube is 1.530 approximately. And the Schwinn down tube is right, is one inch. And then we've got one inch on the down tube there. Okay, one thing I'm, I'm not going to say that Huffy Cranbrooks are a bad bike to build off of. Uh, but, you know, for me, they're, they're not ideal. I want to take advantage of the durability of the, the blue one here, of uh, the, uh, the Murray, and uh, go with a stronger frame. But if you're going to go with the Huffy Cranbrook, I do recommend that you get a motor mount here. That, uh, the CNC motor mount that's made to put the front motor mount onto the frame here and uh, it, 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 you're going to distribute the, the load, the vibration much better on the frame, less chance of cracking it. Um, we've got an uh, expansion chamber here. This is not an ideal expansion chamber. Uh, I, I want to go for a bike that runs good. I'm, I'm not looking for the ultimate in performance. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm an old fart. I don't want to get run over and I don't want to see anybody else get run over. 
I don't feel these bikes are safe doing 40, 50 plus miles an hour, so I'm not going to build one that's going to go that. I just want to build a nice bike, a bike that's going to be fun to ride, fun to maintain. So we're going to use uh, this expansion chamber here. It's going to require some modifications. Um, uh, we're going to have to cut it where it comes out of the the cylinder where it mounts onto the cylinder here and uh, make some uh, accommodations for it and uh, we're going to modify the bracket and have the bracket to where it's going to mount here on the seat post on our on our blue cruiser here um, as well the bike that I'm building will be for sale if you want to uh, to buy it I'll, I'll give you a good price on it here um, we're going to include some monarch forks on the bike here I think these are a lot of bang for the buck on the forks so stay tuned to this playlist the video playlist this is video one we're going to take all the good components off of the Huffy Cranbrook and we're gonna pop them on to the Murray Monterey bike I will show you how, how to how to build you a two-stroke motorized bicycle um, if you want we, we can still stick you could still stick with the Huffy Cranbrook if you want to uh, build a, a Cranbrook based bike I'll go over that but uh, we're gonna focus on the the Murray Monterey and that's what we're going to build I'm gonna go over safety features one thing um, you don't see the front fender uh, we're not gonna put a front fender on front fenders are kind of dangerous on these bikes here uh, vibration and the like will cause the fender mounts to crack and the fenders on these bikes are notorious for occasionally slipping getting under the wheel and causing you to wreck and it happens when you're going full throttle quite often and uh, you wind up harming yourself uh, we're, we are going to use the rear fender um, we're going to modify it and I'm going to show you everything we can do. I, I do want to, so hey, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Uh, over the next few weeks here, I'm going to be showing you how, to, how you can build your own two-stroke motorized bicycle, do's and don'ts, how to set it up properly. And uh, hopefully I'll save you some, uh, some headache. Thanks for watching.